Now, to prove if a secant and a tangent line intersect outside the circle, then the measure of the angle formed is half the measure of the larger intercepted arc minus the measure of the smaller intersected arc. Essentially what we're talking about, we have the secant line through here, and we have the tangent line here, intersecting here at point of tangency is A. Now to prove that this angle here of A, B, C is going to equal to one half this arc, the measure of this arc, minus the measure of that arc. So I've drawn the line AD. Again, we restate the given as given. And now we know that this angle of A, D, C is going to equal to one half this arc because of the inscribed angle theorem. We also know that the angle B, A, D is going to equal to one half of this arc because of the chord tangent ang uh, theorem, angle theorem, that is one half the arc. We also know now that this angle here of ADC, this angle right here, is going to be equal to the, the addition of this angle of BAD, this angle, plus that angle. How do we know that? Because the external angle is equal to the sum of the non-adjacent angles, and these are the non-adjacent angles of this triangle here. Now, if I reverse here and solve for angle ABC, and then we, by reshuffling these right here in the way of uh, using algebra, using and also subtraction, we come up with this. And now, if I substitute the arcs I have for this, so bring this one down to here, and this one down to here, substitute those things thin, and then I simplify by pulling this one half out, then I have now just proven here using that this angle here of ABC is going to equal to one half this arc minus one half of that arc. And we have concluded the theory, theorem.